What's up YouTube? My name is Ty, financial advisor. Welcome to my channel. Please like the video, please subscribe, and catch me every weekday after market close on the Sword of Gambling Show. So here's XCLA, Excella Technologies. This finishes at $1.85 today. That is down 38.14%. And it's gone. So we've been covering this stock quite a bit lately. I said at 10 cents, it looked really bullish. And then it squeezed up to 15. And then unfortunately, yesterday in the aftermarket, the company came out with some surprise bearish news. They announced that they were going to do a 20 to 1 reverse split. Theoretically, reverse splits and splits shouldn't affect the stock price, but in reality, reverse splits are usually bearish and splits are usually bullish. So the reverse split did go through today. The market didn't like it, and unfortunately, it did sell off quite a bit, almost 40%. So there was always the risk of a reverse split, but the way that it played out, just happening out of nowhere like this, is pretty disappointing. But that is the biggest reason as to why the stock went down so much today, in addition to just the overall markets not doing so great. And this was number one on stock splits today. Had over 10,000 mentions, so once again, we're going to analyze it. So this is going to be more or less the same for my other XCLA videos, but this is now going to be updated with the reverse split prices. But all right, let's jump right in. Let's go ahead and analyze here. So first of all, this appears to be a cup and handle in the making. Can't really say where the bottom of the cup is because this is making lower lows, but there can be multiple possible tops. It can be 465, 525, 685, or 780. And longer term, this is part of an even bigger cup and handle where this has the potential to go all the way back up to 109 or 156. So those are all bullish indicators that is telling us that the stock should come back up to one of those tops to complete the cup. And then we have a quadruple gap down. First gap down is back here at 49.80. So that is a bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should come back up to 49.80 to fill that gap. Second gap down is back here at 39.20. So that's another bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should come back up to 39.20 to fill this gap. Third gap down is back here at $10. So another bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should come back up to $10 to fill this gap. And the fourth gap down was created today at 275. So another bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should come back up to 275 to fill this gap. And that gap at 275 should fill in the short term. The other gaps at 10, 13, 20, and 49.80 should fill in the longer term. May take a while, but eventually they should fill. Here we have a descending channel forming. Right now, the top of the channel is at 310 and the bottom is around 35 cents. So this was going to break the upper channel and it was looking really bullish, but now the descending channel is back to being a neutral indicator. In the aftermarket here, this is pulling back down to 178. So if this aftermarket action holds, that would be a bearish indicator for tomorrow. That is suggesting that tomorrow the stock will sell off as well. And down here on the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence, the MACD line has not crossed the signal line just yet, but it looks like it will very soon to the downside. So that's a bearish indicator that is suggesting that it may be time to sell. And if you guys want to follow along, the link to the chart is in the description down below. So right now this is sitting on the support of 185, which it finished at today. So if this goes to the upside, next levels of resistance would be 190, $2, 215, 220, 230, 235, 240, 250, 255, 265, 270, 280, 295, 305, 315, 320, 335, 360, 380, 390, 405, 420, nice, 440, 450, 465, and then 525. There is resistance above 525, but we're not going to discuss that right now. And if this goes to the downside, next level of support would be 165, which it hit today and is the all-time low. And there is no support below that. That would be uncharted territory. So right now with the current price, 185, the channels to the upside are pretty decently sized. So if the stock runs to the upside, expect a normal amount of price action. However, if slash when this breaks 335, the channel starts to open up and get wider. So expect a significant increase in price action if slash when this breaks 335. And there's only one support to the downside. So I can't really comment on the downside here. RSI is currently at 35, so not quite oversold and undervalued, but quickly approaching that. So this could be a good buying opportunity, not financial advice. And this did 25 million in volume today, which is way above the average of 2.6 million. So this sell-off today was confirmed by the volume. Okay, guys, just my opinion, not financial advice. So long-term, the stock still looks really bullish. Again, we have really strong bullish indicators in the cup and handle, quadruple gap down, and low RSI. In the short term, this may keep on pulling back a little bit longer. It looks like it's a falling knife right now. 
And again, we do have bearish indicators in the MACD and aftermarket action. But pretty soon, this should start to bottom out, catch support, and reverse. So in the immediate short term, there's probably still more pullback to go. But this still looks pretty bullish in the short term as well. So therefore, if you want to go long, not financial advice. You really can't go too wrong here at the current price of 185. I wouldn't call it an excellent entry, but definitely an above average entry here. And if it pulls back any further, then it would be an excellent entry. But yeah, once again, a lot of bullish indicators, not too many bearish and neutral indicators. This is near the all-time low. So again, at some point, this should come back up to 49.60 to fill the gap there. And from the current price of 185, that would be over a 2,500 80% upside potential. So massive upside potential here in the long term still. And really shouldn't go too much further to the downside. So I would say going along at the current price, 185 would be a low risk, extremely high reward play. Definitely worth a shot in my opinion. Can't go too wrong here. So I can't support going long at the current price, 185. And if it pulls back, then you can just average down at the support of 165. And I don't have any support below that, but you can continue to average down if it does break 165. Now, if you want to go short now financial advice, I would not do that. And I would not recommend that. Again, it appears like in the immediate short term, this should keep on pulling back for a little bit longer, maybe a couple of trading sessions, because this does appear like it's a falling knife right now. But for the same reasons, I said that going long was a good idea. Going short is a really bad idea. A lot of strong bullish indicators, not many bearish indicators, and those bearish indicators are just temporary. Hit the all-time low today, massive upside potential in the longer term, not too much downside potential. So I would say going short here at the current price, 185, would be an extremely high risk, low reward play. Not really worth it in my opinion. You missed a lot of downside potential already. You should have went short anywhere really in the $19 to $3 range. And here at 185, it's a bit too late to go short. You're probably going to get burned. Not the greatest idea right now. If you want to go short, it would definitely have to be a quick scalp. Get in, get your money, get out. And even then, there are definitely way better short plays out there in the market. So you're better off just avoiding this one on the short side right now. So if you want to go short, please do that at your own risk. So pretty straightforward, guys. Very disappointing news coming out yesterday in the post-market. There was always the possibility that a reverse split would happen, but they really caught everyone off guard with the way they did it here. Market didn't like it, selling off almost 40% today, but the stock still looks bullish. It may keep on pulling back a little bit longer in the short term, but very soon it should start to bottom out, catch support, and reverse. So if you want to go long, not financial advice. The current price, 185, is an above average entry right now. Not quite excellent, but really can't go too wrong here. Massive upside potential in the long term. Really shouldn't go too much lower. So I can't support going long at the current price, 185. And if it pulls back, then you can just average down. And if you want to go short, Seems like a pretty bad idea right now. You missed a lot of downside already, and you're probably going to get burned. Again, a lot of bullish indicators. Hit the all-time low today. Massive upside potential. Not too much more downside potential. If you want to go short, it would definitely have to be for a quick scalp. Get in, get your money, get out. So if you want to go short, please do that at your own risk. But there are definitely way better short plays out there in the market right now. And you're better off just avoiding this one on the short side right now. So sorry to everyone who lost money in the stock today, but this could be a good buying opportunity, not financial advice, and good luck to everyone currently in the stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is XELA, Excella Technologies. Thanks everyone for watching today. I appreciate you guys. Please like the video, please subscribe, and catch me every weekday after market close on the Sweater Gambling Show. You apes already know, diamond hands to the moon. I'm Ty. This is Smarter Gambling. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.